today we're going to be looking at the top myths about Fortnite's newest vehicle, the Armored Battle Bus. Now, this Battle Bus has actually been funded by us, the community of players, and is a replica of the flying Battle Bus that we fly in onto the Fortnite map from every single game, except there are some differences. So let's actually jump right into the video. Now, for our first myth, we have a really fun one, and this is can you throw C4 inside of the battle bus? Now, while during my testing, I figured out that you can't throw it into the area that houses all the people, you are actually able to break open the main window to the driver's seat and throw some in there. Now, this C4 will then stay there even if somebody is driving away, so you can detonate it later on and blow them up even if you're not inside the battle bus. Just another nice little tip for you guys and a myth that has actually already been proved. Now for our second myth, we have is the horn on the armored battle bus the same one that's actually on the flying battle bus, the one that takes us into every single game. So I tested out both of these horns side by side and unfortunately the horns are not the same. Now the flying battle bus has a lot much of a quicker version, whereas the one that's on the ground, the armored battle bus is a lot slower. For the third myth, does the battle bus one shot you when destroyed? Now, I figured that yes, it's a giant bus. How could this thing not one shot you when it actually gets blown up? Well, apparently, it is the nicest vehicle out of them all. When this vehicle gets destroyed, it will auto eject you out of the bus and make you take no damage from the explosion of the vehicle. Truly, the battle bus taking one for the team there and saving us from dying to its explosion. Now, for the fourth myth, we have does the Battle Bus have a custom visualized sound effects logo just like things such as chests and birds? But does the Battle Bus have its own custom logo? And I tested it out in game, and it turns out that it does. Fortnite made a logo solely for the Battle Bus, so you guys can expect this armored Battle Bus to be staying in the game for quite a bit of time, considering they made an entire visualized sound effects logo just for it. Now, for the fifth myth, we have can you you pop the battle bus's wheels. Now, this one sounds like you should be able to, but is it actually possible? It's the freaking battle bus. How could you be able to pop its wheels? So I went into game and tested this out, and it turns out you can pop the wheels. It's just like any other car, and you can take these things off just by shooting them or pickaxing them. Now, for our sixth myth, we have a crazy one, but trust me and hear me out here. Can you fly the armored battle bus? Now, the answer to this myth is actually yes, but it's a kind of yes. Basically, if you take the armored battle bus over to the foundation statue, you will actually be able to go flying up into the air. Now, while this is really cool, there's actually a glitch that you can do that GKI published on his channel. And while this is extremely hard to pull off, and personally, I couldn't do it, GKI shows you guys exactly how to do it. So if you want to try this out, then hop into the game and try and get that armored battle bus off the ground and flying in the air. Now, for the eighth myth, we have does the battle bus have infinite ammo in its turrets. Now, this one, I honestly felt like it could go either way. It's the battle bus, so on one hand, it's a magical bus that flies in the sky, but on the other, they're still just turrets, so do they run out of ammo? And after shooting for a very long time, it turns out that these things do have unlimited ammo, unless you accidentally blow up your battle bus. Now, for the ninth myth, we have can the battle bus crash an IO blimp? Now, this one is unfortunately not true. You cannot crash an IO blimp with the guns on top of the battle bus, but we are going to be seeing the seven doing this later in the season. According to Hypex, the seven are going to push into the IO and actually take down these IO blimps. So again, stay tuned for that. For the 10th myth, we have a tank will win a fight with a battle bus. I mean, honestly, there's really no proving or dis proving this one because it can go either way. It just depends on who's the better fighter in their tank or their battle bus. But personally, in my experience, it looks like the battle bus is going to be winning these fights. Now for the 11th myth, we have the front turret does extra damage to cars. When you actually go ahead and shoot an enemy, it will do 75 damage to their body. But when you go ahead and shoot a car, it turns out that it does 300 damage. So yes, this myth is actually true. The front turret of the battle bus will do extra damage to cars. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
Now, for our 12th myth, we have Dr. Sloan will start to attack the battle bus even if you don't shoot her with it. Now, the reasoning behind this one is that the battle bus is actually made by the Seven. And obviously, Dr. Sloan is the leader of the IO. So when you actually park this battle bus near her, will she begin to fire at it? And unfortunately, I had it directly in her line of sight and she just completely ignored it. Now, for the 13th myth, we have can you shockwave the battle bus? Now, this was actually true with the tanks, and I'm super excited to see if this works with the battle bus, and it turns out that it does. I absolutely love this mechanic, and this thing just goes rolling when you shockwave grenade it. Now, for our 14th myth, we have can you clamber over the battle bus? And this one is just a quick confirm. You can actually go over the battle bus just by holding down that clamber button and going right over it. Now, for our 15th myth, we've got the flying battle bus moves as fast as the armored battle bus. This one took a little bit of math from my part, but after doing the calculations, it shows that the flying battle bus travels at about 100 miles per hour, whereas the armored battle bus, the one that we can actually drive, caps out at around 76. So it turns out that the flying battle bus is still going to be your faster method of transportation rather than the armored battle bus that you can now drive around in game. For the 16th myth, we have, can you use a repair torch on the bus? Obviously, we're able to use the repair torches on any vehicle throughout the island, so can you use it on the bus? And it turns out, yes, you can. And alongside that, if you have any tires popped on the battle bus, it will restore the tires and allow you to now be driving around yet again with those chonkers tires. For the 17th myth, we have, can you carry items inside of the battle bus? I tested this out by breaking open that front window, but unfortunately, it looks like the items just drop right through the battle bus and you cannot carry any of them inside of it. This one is a bit of a bummer because honestly, I wanted to be able to do this. You win some, you lose some, and this myth has been disproved. For the 18th myth, we have, are there people partying inside of the battle bus? This one sounds absolutely crazy, but it's actually true. When you go into the battle bus and you turn on the radio, you get a secret little effect in the back of your battle bus where you can now see disco lights going off. This is an awesome easter egg implemented by epic games and i honestly really love it let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below for the 19th myth we have can you flip a battle bus this one is interesting because the battle bus is a giant bus how in the world would a fortnite character be able to flip it but it turns out yeah for the 20th myth, we have, does the battle bus take storm damage? Now, this one I just had to throw out there because, honestly, I wanted to check it, and it turns out, no, just like every other vehicle, the battle bus does not take storm damage. For the 21st myth, we have, can the battle bus heal from a campfire? Vehicles in Fortnite can actually heal off of campfire. So I thought, and I said, why wouldn't a battle bus be able to do this? So I took the armored battle bus right over to a campfire, and it turns out that, yes, you can can heal a battle bus at a campfire, but unfortunately, unlike the repair torch, it will not restore any of your wheels. So just keep that in mind when you're actually trying to heal up your battle bus. For the 22nd myth, we have the battle bus will do extra damage to supply drops. Now, what I mean by that is the front turret that is actually on the battle bus. Obviously, you're not going to be ramming your battle bus through any supply drops midair. Are you sure about that? But you are going to be shooting them down. And it turns out this myth is actually true. You will be able to do extra damage to supply drops, 206 to be specific, just by using that front turret on your battle bus. For our 23rd myth, can you throw a firefly jar into a battle bus? Now, obviously, you can throw a firefly jar at a battle bus, but can you throw it inside of the battle bus compartment? And it turns out, yes, after you break the window that actually contains the driver's seat, you are able to throw a firefly jar into the driver's seat of the battle bus. That being said, it just kind of lights the ground on fire below it, so you're not really going to get that much satisfaction from doing this in-game, but it's still a cool thing to note. Now, for the final myth and the most fun one on this list, does the battle bus still play the best song in the world? And that would have to be Coral Chorus, and in fact, yes, it does. I was driving around testing out some of these myths, and I caught Coral Chorus playing on the loudspeakers, and you know I had to share it with you guys because it is the the best song Fortnite has ever released.
But these are the top 24 myths proven and disproven about the armored battle bus in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. If you guys actually did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like on it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. My name is Gummy Yoshi. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next one.